May is National Preservation Month, and here in Maryland, there are plenty of projects aimed at saving Maryland's history. And joining us live this morning with more is Preservation Maryland President Nicholas Redding. Thanks for joining us. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. You're so welcome. So what types of projects do you guys have going on right now to keep Maryland's history alive? So as an organization, um, we work in a lot of different uh, types of projects in a lot of different communities. Um, so we do everything from uh, brick and mortar rehab work. Um, we're rehabbing one of the oldest standing log cabins left in Hagerstown um, and sort of by accident, maybe we can talk about it. Uh, we, we figured out that it very likely is Jonathan Hager's cabin. Um, okay, and so go back and just for people who don't understand, obviously Jonathan Hager is the founder of Hagerstown? Hagerstown, there you go. All right. Yeah, <laughs> and he moved there um, in the late 1730s, and we were rescuing a cabin threatened with, by demolition uh, in the Jonathan Street neighborhood and did a process called dendrochronology where you can actually date the log. Wow. Uh, and we were able to figure out that that log was cut down in the winter of 1739. That's and incredible. And there were only two cabins standing there in 1739, and those were his. So how do you renovate or preserve a cabin like that that's so old? Well, you hire the right people. Uh, we hired a fantastic uh, Baltimore-based architecture firm, Ziger Sneed, and we hired a fantastic Baltimore-based rehab contractor, uh, Worcester Eisenbrandt. Um, and, you know, they put together the right team that knows what they're doing. Um, and that's a, that's a lot of it. And so we're, we're doing brick and mortar projects. We're doing, you know, we are an advocate for historic resources in Annapolis. Um, we have a whole historic trades program that we're running in partnership with the National Park Service. What's that? And it's all to, well, so the National Park Service's Historic Preservation Training Center is based in Frederick, Maryland. So we're the philanthropic partner of the center and we're working to help them uh, raise the funds necessary to train the next generation of tradespeople. So the people who can actually do the work with their hands. Um, and that's pretty exciting because uh, there's a there's a lack of people available to do this work. You're not kidding. Um, and uh, it, it hits across every sector of the construction industry. It just happens to hit the preservation sector even harder. So well, anything yeah. that touches a building or that impacts mm -hmm. a building or um, uh, makes uh, preservation possible is something that we're interested in. And there's a need now more than ever for people to learn a trade. So if someone is interested in getting in on that ground floor with you, how do they do that? They can go to historictrades.org and find out more about the program. We're actually be recruiting uh, paid trainees for the summer ahead. Um, so it's a paid experience in the national park. So you get to help protect some of America's most iconic national resources and learn a trade in the process. That is awesome. Let's do a follow-up interview with you on that training program because that's super important. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Really appreciate it. It's been a pleasure.